It's an annual tradition, the City of Torrance Chamber of Commerce's Chinese New Year celebration. But if it's the year of the Golden Snake, why was a lion there? Well, Spotlight reporter Christina Duran has a story. The sounds of the traditional Chinese drums started off the fifth annual Chinese New Year celebration held at the Torrance Cultural Arts Center. Here, community leaders and residents gathered to share their knowledge about the Chinese culture and more importantly, to share the festivities most commonly associated with Chinese New Year. We're very excited that so many people come out from all over the community that may or may not be Chinese but want to experience the wonderful excitement of the Chinese New Year. Some people chose to express their involvement and enjoyment of the celebration by dressing in traditional Chinese garments. To others, it is a way to keep the spirit of the Chinese culture alive. I think this is uh, for the Chinese New Year and uh, very few occasions we get to wear things like this and to celebrate our New Year. So I think for most of us uh, Chinese in the United States, we will try to wear as, as many possibilities as we could and also introduce our culture to everybody else. Along with festive outfits, there are many arts and crafts tables allowing people to become familiar with objects symbolic of the Chinese New Year. Some of the crafts included Chinese knotting art, where even flowers came from the work of skilled hands. There were also water paintings made by the use of water paints and the elegant stroke of a brush. Although they are time consuming, when complete, their colors seem to fill the room with energy and life. And how can there be a Chinese celebration without Chinese paper art? Artists came and displayed their many hours of work dedicated to this Chinese New Year. One of the highlighted moments of the evening was when the God of Fortune appeared. I'll be the, the God of Fortune, bring everybody good fortune for the New Year's. The God of Fortune performed his dance and proceeded to pass out these red envelopes. The envelopes are usually filled with money and are said to bring good fortune to the person who receives one. This is one part of Chinese New Year that everyone takes part in, especially young kids. And these girls are involved with festivities in other ways as well. They also participate in many of the dance performances. Women perform the Tai Chi dance and even a sign language dance. But none are as symbolic to the Chinese New Year as the lion dance. As the night came to a close, both children and adults placed their red envelopes into the mouth of the lion, hoping that this upcoming year would be one of good fortune. Through food, dance, music, arts and crafts, this year's Chinese New Year celebration has proven to be educational as well as fun. I've even taken part in some of the festivities. For Spotlight Torrance, I'm Christina Duran. Thanks, Christina. And what kind of person is born in the year of the snake? Well, despite what you may think, snakes are pretty good. People born in the year of the snake are charming and popular. They strive for attention from peer groups and from, for public recognition. And they're also well-mannered and polite. Famous snakes that you may have heard of include Oprah Winfrey, John F. Kennedy, and Brad Pitt. Mm, Brad Pitt. Mm, very interesting, Brian. The lion dance wasn't the only way to celebrate the new year. Many Torrance residents attended a Kabuki Hayashi New Year's concert featuring a celebrity from Japan. Kendra Kostelecki has a story. Already hailed as a national living treasure in Japan, master percussionist Katara Kisuku was met with honors as he brought his talents to Torrance. Katara's success as a musician comes as no surprise. He was born into a family of performers. His father, grandfather, and brother are all Hayashi players. Before his performance at the James Armstrong Theater, Master Katara gave a demonstration of Kabuki Hayashi music. In Japanese and in English, he explained the tradition of the big drum and what each sound represented. English, coming, coming. Don't toy, don't toy, don't toy, don't toy. Yes? English. Coming, 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 coming. This music is normally heard accompanying Kabuki theater, but for this concert, music was the main attraction. Only one piece of music was accompanied by a Kabuki dancer. Without words, Katara Kisku and this group of performers crossed the barrier of language and culture, expressing stories and their emotions effortlessly through their music. For Spotlight Torrance, I'm Kendra Kostelecki. 
Thanks, Kendra. Kabuki music is a beautiful but very different from anything we hear here it typically in the States. Absolutely. Well then, this might be a little more familiar to you. Torrance Symphony started in the new Millennium Strong with their very first concert of the year. This show featured award winner Jun Sung Jun. Jun Sung Jun began playing cello at age 12. At age 16, he began performing with major orchestras in his homeland, Korea. He was accepted to the Idlewild School of Music and the Arts. And he was the featured award-winning artist at the Torrance Symphony Concert for the New Millennium. The audience was captivated by June's musical style. Conductor Frank Feta did an excellent job selecting music with political significance, timely in light of the recent presidential inauguration. Despite the underlying political theme, the symphony performed a varied program leading the audience through a range of emotions, reflecting the joy, hope, and fear that come with the new millennium. You can look forward to another outstanding performance by the Torrance Symphony when they present a bit of Beethoven on March 17th. Dave Canoyne provided music fit for younger